The word of the day today is concerning. Every time I say the word concerning, a metalcore vocalist gets s***ed up outside of a Waffle House. Speaking of metalcore vocalists that should get s***ed up outside of a Waffle House, we're talking about Tim Lambesis being the only remaining member of As I Lay Dying right now. We're gonna dive into all of this drama, but before we do, hey, hi, hello, my name is Dan Frampton and I am the originator of postmodern Malone Core. Either that, or I just make traditional, old-fashioned, freshly baked, home-style YouTube videos. And I just let the world enjoy them for free. You should at least have to pay 75 cents at the farmer's marketplace of ideas. But nah, uh not around here. Oh, and if you leave a comment within the first three hours of me uploading this video, I will reply. Try to goad me into a conversation or a debate or something. I bet you don't have what it takes. That's a challenge. So, as I lay dying, right, over the last couple days, if you've been online or whatever, if you've seen any social media posts, you might notice that all the members of this band are dropping like flies. Everybody is quitting. But who exactly is As I Lay Dying? They're basically an old as hell metalcore band, okay? They got real famous in the early 2000s, and then by the time 2012 came around, Bill Stevenson from the band The Descendants was like, you know what? I'm gonna record these guys. But they've always had kind of a bit of a toxic reputation. But we're not here to talk about the specifics of that toxic reputation. We're here to talk about this one in particular, and that is when the lead singer of the band, As I Lay Dying, in 2013, um, tried to hire a hitman to off his wife. The hitman who he tried to hire was posing as a trainer at a gym that he worked out at, but was actually an undercover agent. Look at this BBC News article from back in the day. Lambesis approached his trainer for help for offing his wife. Tim, the singer of US metal band As I Lay Dying, has pleaded guilty to attempting to hire an undercover agent to off his estranged wife. Hmm, all right, so this is the kind of guy we're dealing with. This is the drama from back in the day. So he goes to jail, he's sentenced to seven years, but is out in four. So in 2017, he's free to just roam the earth and do his business, okay? And he starts with this apology that he posts to his Facebook. He just types it all out. Here he is. Oh, I did the thing. Oopsie. I tried to get my ex-wife off with a hitman. My bad. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, right? It was just a Bret Hart type thing. Oh no, I'm a silly boy. And you think the accountability that this guy had to take is going to be summed up in like these four paragraphs over here? I don't think so. I'm not going to go through the whole thing but it is just a bunch of wind as far as I'm concerned. Bare minimum type stuff going on in this apology. You can go read it yourself and you can like either agree or disagree with me, but oh, well maybe Dan, he is actually like laying it all out there on the line. Well, I don't know about this. This just seems like words for the sake of words as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, this all happens in 2017, 2018, the band gets back together and does this totally uncomfortable round table discussion addressing everything. Look at the body language of these dudes, bro. This is the most tense room situation I've ever seen in my entire life. And this is one of the hardest watches I've had in a very long time. Because this guy in the middle, Tim Lambesis, tried to hire a hitman to do something very, very, very illegal, right? And those actions affected everybody in all of these guys' lives. So much so that it shattered their entire lives and families and reputations and everything. So they all had to move on and try to do other things to try to forget it, but they couldn't avoid it. Everywhere they went, people were like, hey, how about that guy that was in your other band that did that really crazy thing? How about that lawsuit? And here they are just sitting in this room being like, oh yeah, here we are doing this all over again. And they all take their turns talking like, you know, we all kind of hated you, buddy but you were out there and that apology mm, that had some tasty words in it and I believed you when we got together I saw someone in front of me that wanted to repent that knows that he has to deal with this for the rest of his life and they all bought back in and rejoined the band recorded the song bing bang boom but when it was the guitar player Nick Hippas turn to talk he was not just like silent and stoic and kind of tense 
He was emotional, dude. This guy put everything out there on the line, and I just want to play one clip from this just to give you an idea of how raw and real Nick was being in this conversation. I just thought we had each other's backs, you know, and I was like, man, this, you know, Phil is, is gone, and he's doing his own thing, and I resent him for it, but ultimately, this is Tim's fault. Like, Tim, Tim did this to him, you know? And so, I tried as hard as I could to just like, I'm gonna stay busy, I'm gonna do what I'm doing. And I couldn't escape it. And we were, you know, I would try and talk positively about positive things in my life because I didn't want my attention to be brought back towards something that was pretty painful. And I remember, I, like, I did one interview that I was like really stoked on. I was like, man, I'm talking about all these things. Like, these are all the meanings behind the songs. This is how we got here. And uh, there was just a little bit at the end where someone asked me what I thought about the lawsuit that was also big news, you know? And I said that if that's the same, if that's who Tim is still, then he will, ne he will never change just as I always thought. And that's all that got out there. That was like, you know, forget whatever I had to say about anything else. This is, all this dude is about and only has to offer, and this is all we care about. And Nick would go on to keep talking very emotionally through tears, holding them back. But that was so raw and so real. It's like, I hated this guy. I resented the hell out of him. But ultimately, it was because of this guy's fault. And everywhere I went, I couldn't escape this sort of stuff. And that as he keeps talking, he realizes that he was like harboring this hate in an unhealthy kind of way. And he knows that ultimately, getting it all out there is better for everybody. But that only lasted, I don't know, a couple years. Because from 2018, when this was recorded, it only took until 2021 when Nick left the band. And judging by what I was listening to in this conversation, in this discussion roundtable type thing, all I can glean from it is that Tim's mask started to slip. But that's all speculation. I'm not exactly sure about any of that. But just from like a friend group dynamic, that's kind of what it seems like. It's like, oh, you said you were sorry, then I believed you, then I was brought back into your life, and then now I'm leaving your life again, and that you can only assume that it was for like similar type stuff, right? That's all assumptions, that's all speculation, I have no idea. But he does have a very good lengthy statement on his Instagram over here. Nick left, then the bass player Josh Gilbert leaves, then the drummer, Jordan Mancino, he pieces out. He's like, oh, okay, this is all crazy. This is happening just a couple years ago in 2021 and 2022, okay? Only a couple years after the guy that hired a hitman just got out of jail and fooled everybody that he turned into a different person somehow. Either way, the show must go on, you know? And all of these band members are replaced. Well, 2024 had different plans. 2024 was like, let's just repeat that cycle again, and all the band members have left for a second time. Ryan Neff was the first one to leave. Ryan Neff says, as of today, I have made a decision to leave as I lay dying. This choice comes after much reflection, and I believe it is the right step for my personal and professional journey. I am grateful for the experiences and connections I made during my life and time with the band. Now, I didn't really run with this the first time I saw it, because it was just very vague. There's not a lot that we can get out of this statement. All we know is that as I lay dying is kind of dying its own kind of death yet again. Just history repeats itself. But then Ken Susie was like, yeah, you know what? I'm also gonna leave. My time playing with As I Lay Dying has come to an end today. I leave with so much gratitude for everyone who followed and supported me from the days in Unearth to this era in my career. I jumped into the As I Lay Dying camp with full knowledge of the heightened dramatic history, but had a drive just to play great music with great friends. Okay, we're starting to get a little more with this statement here, but it's this next paragraph my ears started to really perk up and be like, okay, this is something to pay attention to. Ken goes on to say, unfortunately, my personal morals have recently been tested to a breaking point and it's now the saddest ending to what could have been the greatest second chance for this band. Morals, you say. Tested to a breaking point, you utter. Saddest ending to what could have been a greatest second chance for this band. This is all very heightened language over here, to use a word that he was using earlier. Ryan Neff is receiving a lot of backlash for stepping down. First, I regret not sharing this decision sooner and standing confidently with my friend. 
He's a flawless musician and an even better person. I'll miss all of you on this stage, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Anyone looking for a guitar player? My resume is ready. All right, so he stuck his neck out a little bit more, I think because of how much backlash that Ryan Ness was getting. Then, all the brothers started standing in solidarity. The other guitar player also left, but he didn't leave much of a statement. He said he'll be making more of a statement shortly, but... I don't see that here right now, but I wait with bated breath because this is kind of like hyping it up now. What are we gonna know? Then rumors started to keep going. What's going on? Is it Hitman stuff again? And is it allegations? What is going on with this band? Because now Nick Pierce, the drummer, has also left, leaving Tim Lambesis as the only remaining member of this band. As of now, I am no longer playing drums for As I Lay Dying. This is far from the ending I anticipated, and I feel I need to distance myself from the band in an effort to retain my personal health and integrity. That is another gigantic, loaded sentence right there. Personal health and integrity? What could you mean by that? What does that mean, Nick Pierce? But dealing with a guy like Tim Lambesis, I can only speculate. Jumping back in, I want to express my deepest gratitude to everyone who followed me and supported me throughout my journey. My goal has always and will be to create unforgettable memories with my friends and write music that will truly resonate with our fans. That's so wholesome. Friends and memories, that's what it's all about. I'm proud of what I've accomplished on the road touring, as well as writing and recording drums for the new album. Looking ahead, I'm excited to continue my drumming career and pursue what I love most in making music. My touring and session schedule is now actively open for new opportunities. Love how these dudes are like, I need, I need work, bro. So of course, the rumor mill is now a churning, okay? So much so that we get a statement from the Lambesis camp, okay? But not from Tim. No, no, no. His wife pipes in and is like, don't worry, guys. Everything is cool. I'm writing this statement to adjust the recent rumor circulating on social media regarding my husband, Tim Lambesis, and the allegations of DV. It has come to my attention that false claims have been made suggesting that my husband has harmed me. I want to make it unequivocally clear that these allegations are completely false. My husband has never caused harm to me in this manner, and I am deeply saddened by the unfounded rumors that have emerged during the challenging time for this band. There has never been an incident that warrants such accusations. We have had our relationship issues like many other couples, but nothing to the degree of DV or what is being portrayed online. It deeply saddens me that I find myself in a position where I must publicly explain my personal life and relationship because of flat out lies. It is completely unjust and everything spread the way it did and nobody even considered my voice to be heard through all of it. This is unfair to both Tim and I and our relationship. It is disheartening to witness how quickly misinformation can spread and the impact it can have on individuals and families. I ask that you respect our privacy during this time and refrain from perpetrating these harmful rumors any further. And there it is, that's what she said, that's how it reads, that's the statement. There are no facts, there are no receipts on either end of this, there's only speculation and things that we can kind of like see from the surface level. So first, on one hand, I want to say that I'm just going to believe her. I'm going to say, okay, that's the story, that's what it is. I'm not going to, you know, spread these rumors of these things because that's kind of a heinous thing to kind of accuse somebody of if you don't really know that it, that it happened, right? So that's what I'm going to put in my brain as what's happening in the story right now until we get further development. But what this statement reads like, because of Tim's history of hiring a hitman and being like, coercive and manipulative and violent and going to like the final degree to make things happen to make the person go away type thing you know this just reads like a hostage this just reads like no this, everything's fine everything's good Wh why would you say that why would you even suggest such a thing we're cool everything's good guys please don't say anything ever again everything's fine that's just speculation and how it seems to me okay but as the story stands right now there is no dv there are no allegations of any kind being levied it's just all the band members suspiciously leaving for moral and safety reasons 
Let me remind you, personal morals have recently been tested to a breaking point in an effort to retain my personal health and integrity. It's that kind of language that makes the imagination run wild. So we, as the audience, kind of need to know what's going on here. We need a little bit more substance to these statements. It's very cryptic and everybody is just like spiraling out right now. Tim Lambesis is the guy that hired a hitman to get rid of his ex-wife. Now, his current wife is claiming to be in a totally safe situation while all his band members are leaving. I'm very, very confused about what's going on here. Tim, what have you done? What are you saying? What are you trying to get done? Who are you threatening? Who are you manipulating? What the f*** is going on? And it's not like it's just some rinky-dink little band, you know what I mean? Now that it's reached this level where everybody has statements out there right now, it's kind of like the public needs to know what's going on because it has been made public. Okay, it would have been just a personal thing if this was like a friend group and a wife or whatever, but this is a band breaking up in the most dramatic fashion, one by one by one, again. It's not even the first time that it's happened. So are we to believe, as the public, that it's for completely different reasons? Like, okay, yeah, Tim did turn into a different person. He reformed, but this is a different kind of evil that he is this time. I don't get it whatsoever. I think that it would just be funny for Tim Lambesis to come out with a statement, not addressing any of it whatsoever, and just claiming to be leaving the band, too. He's like, you know what? After all this time and reflection, I think it's time that I step away from As I Lay Dying. Thank you so much to the fans. Have a go one. <laughs> that would be amazing. But because personal health, integrity, and morals are all being called into question, I need to know what's going on actually with Tim Lambesis. And all of this drama for a band that has never been better than mid. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Dan Frampton. That was As I Lay Dying. And gang, for life, you did it. Good job. Until my next upload, watch another upload. Take care and have a good one.